Our next wow. guest is among those uh, calling on the president to investigate the Fed's role in that Bank of America purchase of Merrill Lynch. Congressman Scott Garrett of the Financial Services Committee, ranking member of the Capital Markets Subcommittee, uh, joins us along with uh, the committee's chair, uh, Congressman Kanjorski. It's great to have you back. Congressman, welcome. It's good to be back this uh, Monday morning. Yes. Uh, uh, nice uh, weekend. A lot to get to. You want to start with this uh, Bank oh. of America thing? We've had Congressman Issa on, and we've... We've knocked this around a little bit. Um, what did he you, say to you? Uh, <laughs> when you say the Fed needs to be investigated, what would that entail? What Beyond these hearings, what are you looking for? Yeah, I, I think we need to um, just make sure all the facts are out on the table because, you know, there's just been so many allegations that are out there. And you couple that on the one hand with what um, Paul and I know is what's going to be coming down the road in the next several weeks, and that is just total reform of the marketplace and the proposals by the administration with regard to the Fed, which they want to just take the Fed, which has so much power today, and expand it so greatly. Well, before we do that, we should really have a clear insight as to exactly what they've been doing and just the bottom line of these answers, these allegations. Uh, former Treasury Secretary Paulson is going to be in front of the committee, I think, this week, right? Thursday, if I'm not mistaken. Do you hope to get more out of him uh, than we've gotten out of Ken Lewis and Bernanke going back and forth with these conflicting he said, he says? Well, that, that last line is basically really what this is all about, right? It's like he said, she said, and yeah, if you can get some more people out, out, out on the table and get the questions answered, why not? Yeah. Congressman, do you have any hope for that? Well, the only thing is I, I, I happen to sit on both committees, financial services and oversight. Uh, oversight's position is going back to what Joe was talking about. It's going back and asking who is at fault for some, what does it really matter at this point? What I'm worried about, and I think Scott's worried about it too, and all of us, is what are the next four to six months going to be like? And if we don't get this thing changed, we're not going to save the economy. And we're going to be working in strange and, and, and inventive ways to try and change things by wasting any of our talents or, or, and uh, time on the fight between whether threats were made or not made. I don't really, I, I don't like threats to be made by anyone, but it's not, it's not going to change the present reality and the future reality. Maybe, Congressman, uh, people who are calling for an investigation just don't want to see the Fed uh, inflated anymore. Uh, well, I mean, why not just say that? I'm an anti-Fed anti -fed people, this person. I, but I've got other reasons why we shouldn't be embracing we're on the, the we're on the We're probably on the same page on, on that one issue. But that, I mean, that goes beyond it, but we're on the yeah. same page on that. Nobody has yet categorized what do these various regulators do, including the Fed. Well, what they, they failed to do for 14 years with a direction and authority from Congress, they were asked to put into a standardization and controls the mortgage system of the United States, and they failed to do it. And that's why subprime mortgages and securitization went crazy, because they failed to exercise the authority that Congress gave them. So they have to step up to the plate and recognize that. And I think when they do and when the Congress recognizes that failure, I think we should say, do we want to really reward the Fed with greater omnipotent right. powers? Although, wait a second, you're saying the entire housing problem was the Fed's problem for not reining in? There are no. people who say it was Congress who was pushing Fannie Mae to say every American should own a home. I, and, 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 you know, we could argue day and night, and Scott and I probably disagree on a lot of those things, and maybe going back, the only thing I would like to spend some time on is I'd like to find out and have a commission do a real in-depth but fast study on what causes situation, identify those causes so that we can take remedial action. We're not, asking, we're not being asked to do that. We're asked to operate on the patient, and we haven't bothered to look at the x-ray yet. And that's part of the problem here is that you're coming out with a proposal from the administration, and the Republicans have thrown out a, a proposal as well um, to try to, as you say, to go forward. But really, you can't go forward completely, and, and you certainly don't want to put it all into statute, into, into law completely, before you understand what the underlying problems are. So we've just here talked about two major ones. You talked about the, the GSEs, Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. Yeah. I think they are, play a huge role as to what brought us here. Um, we, all, we also agree, I think, to some extent, on the, on the Fed's role. I think they helped bring us here. So in both places, um, we need to, to act. Now, in the Obama's administration plan, there's actually no talk whatsoever with regard to the GSAs. You don't mention Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, but a lot of economists out there have come before our panel and said that uh, they've helped uh, with their more than you know, with their 101 leveraging or what have you. That they'll they really help, if not cause it, certainly exacerbate the so, problem. But, so, is the white paper a non-starter in the committee? Yeah, no, it's a, it's certainly a starter. It it's, a, it's a it's a place it's a place to begin with. Um, there are some points uh, we had. 
Secretary Geithner, you, I heard just before I came on, you were talking about the little, little bipartisan thing they were working on. He was here with us uh, just this past week, right? And he was talking about that, talking about derivatives and what area. I think, as I said to him during this time, there's some areas actually we agree with regard to uh, derivatives and what needs to be done in that. You look back to learn what was the problems and going forward, we can address some of them. Not too confining, not mandating every, all the derivatives being placed through clearing houses, but there are some areas we agree with. Um, so there's certain points that you want to get into some of the details on. And even when Geithner was there, let's see, Geithner was with us both in the uh, dinner meetings, what have you, and he was also in a joint meeting that we had with both the, uh, the Ag Committee and the uh, Financial Service Committee. It was a really st strange phenomenon. He had both committees, 110, 110. 110 members trying to uh, quiz the uh, secretary. Uh, so some areas of agreement, but some we right. want to... Bring Where do you guys have these dinners? Well, we had one in the Capitol, in the room in the basement of the Capitol. Oh, so you don't go to the Capitol Griller? Right? No, we did go to. Hooters. We go to a hotel. Hooters. Where is the court? Washington Court? No. court? Hooters? Oh, no. no. Uh, ho hotel. But we don't, we don't select the spot, actually, the bipartisan okay. uh, policy center. Another round of pictures? None of that? None no, of that, right? nothing. Okay. You yeah. tried to get a table. I think Tim Hortons, who, who by the way, I'm gonna, uh, I'm this gonna, coffee, coffee is, and it's a great place I, for... I'm uh, going to make a prediction Mm -hmm. Scott and I are going to strike up a sufficient, not only a personal friendship, but a political friendship with what, what's going on, that you're going to actually see bipartisan legislation introduced that he and I are both going to be co-sponsored. Would you agree with that? I agree. And actually, it's already occurred because we did sign on to joint legislation with one area that we've been talking about for a while, and that's covered bonds. Mm -hmm. I've never sat and talked about that here, but we believe that covered bonds is one area that you can uh, sort of, should have right. been addressed before, and now we can address right now deals with a piece, at least, of the housing market. Okay. It's good to see you both. Nice tag team action going on here. <laughs> there you go. Congressman? Thanks Congressman Kondorski will be with us for the rest of the show, and uh, Congressman Garrett, we'll see you again soon. Good All right, All coming right. up on Squawk Box, we will...